Hey guys, welcome back to AFL What If. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. We've got three teams, three different What If scenarios that we're going to talk about. Starting with what if the Brisbane Bears hadn't merged with Fitzroy and were still around on their own today. Then we're going to talk about what if the Fremantle Dockers had gone with one of their other potential nicknames and become the Fremantle Cobras. And last up, we're going to talk about what if North Melbourne had relocated to the Gold Coast and become the Gold Coast Kangaroos. So as we all know, in the mid-1990s, the Brisbane Bears and Fitzroy Lions merged to become the Brisbane Lions. But what if that merger had never taken place and the Brisbane Bears were still around on their own today? For the home Guernsey for the Brisbane Bears, I've kept it pretty much identical to the jumper they wore in their last season in the AFL. So we've got a maroon jumper with white collars and cuffs, a gold V shape and a white outline on that. To me, this is one of the best Guernseys that unfortunately we don't get to see in the AFL anymore. It's really one of those classic ones and I reckon had the Bears stuck around, it would have gone on to become iconic, similar to how Adelaide have worn the same Guernsey every season of their existence. So while the Bears didn't wear this for their first few seasons, you know, I think it would have become quite iconic for that team. For their away jumper, I reckon this is one of those teams that would have just worn the home jumper with white shorts. And for the Clash jumper, I came up with two different designs, and I want to see what you guys think. Which do you think is better? The first one is a gold jumper with white shorts, white collars and cuffs, a maroon V with a white outline on it. So basically a simple inverse of the home jumper. And the other one is a white jumper with white shorts, maroon collars and cuffs, a gold V and a maroon outline. Now this white jumper is pretty similar to the new Clash jumper that the Lions are gonna wear in season 2020. I think it's a pretty cool design, but honestly, for this team, this Brisbane Bears team, I kind of prefer the gold jumper as their Clash. Like I've said before in other What If videos, I love gold jumpers, I love gold Clash jumpers, and pretty much all the teams who have them in the AFL have made them look pretty good and they work really well. So I reckon for this team, I'm leaning more towards the gold clash jumper. But again, let me know your thoughts on which of these clash jumpers you prefer in the comments down below. Is it maroon or maroon? Maroon, 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 maroon. I don't know. I'm going to go with maroon. Have I been saying maroon or maroon? I'm very confused. So for our second team today, we're talking about Fremantle and what if they went with one of their other proposed nicknames. Now I have this book, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but this book called The Clubs, which is a complete history of every club in the VFL slash AFL. This book was published like in the 90s, so it doesn't have Gold Coast or GWS. So they should call it the complete history of every club that matters in the VFL and AFL. Now in this book, in the Fremantle section, they talk about one of the other potential nicknames for the Fremantle Dockers was the Fremantle Cobras. So we're going to take a look at what that team could have looked like. Now when you take a look at the Guernsey's Frio wear today with the three chevron design, that's obviously based on their heritage and the old Fremantle football club. So I think, you know, whatever original name they chose, I think eventually this team would end up wearing that same Guernsey design. And so that's what we've kept for this team. For the home jumper, we've got a purple Guernsey, three chevrons in the middle, but instead of white, we're going with green. I think a team called the Fremantle Cobras probably would have adopted a purple and green color scheme. Now I did question whether this team would actually wear purple because I believe to some extent the purple is actually based upon the kind of overalls that the dockers or the dock workers wear. So this team with a different name may not have gone with the purple color scheme but I tried these jumpers with green and red and it looked really shit. So we're gonna go with purple and green. For their away or clash Guernsey, I've gone with a purple jumper. No, I haven't, it's green. For their away or clash jumper, I've gone with a green jumper with purple collars and cuffs, three purple chevrons in the middle of the jumper and white shorts, of course. Now this green jumper kind of reminds me of the old green jumper that the Dockers wore as their away Guernsey back in their first few seasons in their 90s. So it is kind of like a cool callback to that jumper, even though had the team gone with a different name, they probably would never have worn that green jumper with the anchor and everything, but whatever. Personally, I don't think this team would really need another jumper, like another clash jumper. You could maybe work in some kind of a white design with maybe green chevrons or something like that. But um, I think between the purple and the green, you could probably get away without having to have a third clash jumper. Green and purple can sometimes both be dark colors. So maybe that'd be a problem, but they're different enough for it to work, I think. So last but not least, we're talking about the Gold Coast Kangaroos. Now, for those of you who don't know, in about the mid to late 2000s, 
Obviously the AFL were looking to put some sort of a team on the Gold Coast. And one of the options that was being considered was North Melbourne potentially relocating to the Gold Coast because they were struggling in that oversaturated Victorian market. So just to get them out of there and really give them their own space. Obviously we know this relocation didn't happen and in the end the AFL made the new team the Gold Coast Suns. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing I'll leave that to you to decide. But North Melbourne, if they had moved to Gold Coast, what would that team have looked like? Now, I think for the most part, this team probably would have just kept its identity intact, you know, same colours, same Guernsey, in an attempt to try and lure some North Melbourne fans to kind of continue to follow the team, even though they're on the Gold Coast. But for the sake of this little exercise and for the sake of this what-if scenario, we're going to just maybe change things up just a little bit. So for their colours, I've kept blue and white, but I've added in the colour of gold because it's Gold Coast, so, you know, add that in, why not? For this team, I've kind of come up with two different sets of Guernseys, and I want you guys to help me decide which ones you think is better. So once you've seen the designs, let me know down in the comments below whether you prefer Kangaroos A or Kangaroos B. Apparently on YouTube, you can also do polls. So if I've done it correctly, in the top corner, there should be a poll where you can let me know whether you like Kangaroos A or Kangaroos B. If there isn't a poll there, then I look like a bit of an idiot, and you can just leave Kangaroos A or Kangaroos B in the comments down below. So for Kangaroos A, I've kind of kept the traditional North Melbourne Guernsey alive with the stripes. So we've got a blue jumper with gold stripes. And then for their clash jumper, we've got just the inverse, a gold jumper with blue stripes. While this does keep the heritage of North Melbourne alive with the Guernsey design, the problem with it is that there's no real room to put white into the Guernsey. And I think that's kind of important with this team. So that's set A. For set B, I've gone with something completely different, which is good because if they looked exactly the same, that'd be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? So for the second set of Guernseys, I started off with the inspiration of the design of the Southport Sharks jumper. For those of you who don't know, the Southport Sharks are a Queensland-based NEFL side, and I'm pretty sure they were one of the teams who were trying to get the license for the Gold Coast side in the AFL. So for this jumper, we've got a blue Guernsey and blue shorts with white cuffs on the side, and a white V with a gold outline. For the Awayo Clash jumper, you've basically just got the inverse again, with gold jumper, blue cuffs on the side, a white V and a blue outline around that. What I like about this Guernsey set is that it not only incorporates all three colours pretty prominently, it's also a callback to one of the old North Melbourne Guernsey designs. You know, they had that old blue jumper with the white V back in the day, and this is kind of a nice little callback to that. So these jumpers have both got a heritage element to them and a bit of North Melbourne history, but they're also quite unique, you know? It's not just like they've duplicated North Melbourne up on the Gold Coast, they've actually given this team its own unique look while still calling back to the heritage of North Melbourne. So personally, I prefer Kangaroo's Guernsey Set B. But remember to let me know in your thoughts. In your thoughts? Don't what? But remember to let me know in the comments down below or in that poll, if it works, which Guernsey set you prefer, Kangaroo's A or Kangaroo's B. And yes, before anyone points it out, I do realise the obvious problem that adding the gold to this team kind of makes them look a bit too much like West Coast, but this is an alternate reality league we're building here, so... Who knows, West Coast may not even exist in this league. We can only hope, right? Okay, so I think that's about it for this episode of AFL What If. Um, unless I've forgotten something, which is possible, but I don't think I have. So, that's good. Remember to leave your thoughts in the comments down below of these Guernsey designs and uh, answer our burning questions, such as, is it maroon or maroon? Do green and red Guernseys look shit? Um, the answer for that, I'll tell you, is yes. They look like Christmas, which is um, good in December, but like every other month, um, it's awkward and, you know, not right. So, yep. And as always, let me know your thoughts for other potential AFL what if scenarios in the comments down below. For those of you who haven't already, make sure you go check out my video on my plans for content in regards to AFL Evolution 2, uh, if that game ever gets released. In that I talk about what I plan to do for a bunch of different things with AFL Evo 2, but in particular I talk about the AFL What If series and how we're going to bring that into Evolution 2. Um, so yeah, I've run out of things to talk about, so until next time guys, we'll see you later.